This following vlog is sponsored by Yukoni Digital Marketing Agency. If you want to sponsor any future vlogs, come at me through Facebook inbox. Thank you for watching and do enjoy. Like him, man. Hey. And here we go. Oh, nice. He doesn't want to end up pressed against that cage again. Oh, big long kick. The front kick almost got through there from Yusuf. Losing them long limbs to good effect. Yep. Yeah. Not doing something. This is the second round now where he hasn't done a lot. Yeah, and Yusuf is high. He could be shaken off. David trying to clear one of the hooks so he can uh, get. No, he's giving it up. Yeah, uh, Dan defending well, keeping tight, but he's flattened out, and this is not a good position for him. And, oh, he's got his half guard. Yeah, 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 it's your boy Lion AR. With me today, I've got Safraz Yusuf. This brother is a serious mixed martial artist. You've seen the footage when he's on the floor, he's a good teacher. Tell us a bit about yourself. Okay, I've been trained for about 11 years, about five years boxing now, and six years doing MMA. Consists of Jiu Jitsu and basic MMA mixed together. You competed out here, you're on YouTube as well. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, I've had about three MMA fights. Uh, Two amateur and one pro fight. Uh, oh. One two, I lost one. And what was it like for the experience? Uh, it's good. It's like obviously you get nervous in your first fight. Well, obviously after you keep doing it for a while, you get better and better. So you t you take a personal classes now. You're based in Derby. Yeah. Uh, what's that going for you like? It's uh, it's all right. Getting more privates than uh, normal classes, but it's building up. I mean, what kind of styles can you teach? What what are you capable of doing? Uh, Muay Thai, boxing. Uh, wrestling and jiu jitsu. This brother is six foot three tall, he's very big, he's, uh, he's, he, he's, he's, he's a handful, he can body spar, he can face spar. I've seen him do a lot of stuff, and you know, let me tell you, this guy, he's, 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 he's a contender, he's still a competitor, and I don't know, do you still compete? Nah, I'm gonna take about a year or two off and obviously just get, get the gym going a bit, and then I'll probably get back into it. Hey, well, you, you don't really need to work because you come from a good background and you know, yeah, you, you, yeah. you know your family's what, what are they? Chem uh, pharmacies. 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 So, but this is a passion for you, isn't it? Yeah. Breaking people's faces, is it? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I've seen you do a lot of sparring, you know, you've got a very strong chin. Yeah. You know, what do you do? What kind of training do you do for your um, conditioning? I train like uh, mostly here at the gym twice a week now. I, I sort of like slow it down now, really. But uh, at home, I do a bit of weights. A uh, bit of conditioning exercise, you know, like a uh, cardio sort of stuff. Any advice for the youngsters? Basically, just stay off the streets and just join the gym. Probably join EBA because we've got boxing here as well. So, and, and MMA. so if we needed a fight, a backup, I'm coming straight to Safran's user, yeah, yeah. aka superstar MMA. Watch out for this brother. How can we find your videos on YouTube? What do we type in? Just uh, Safran's user, uh, spelt S A R F R A Z. Y O U S A F. And who did you fight for? What organisation was it for the mixed martial arts? Uh, it's just ba basically it's just MMA and mixed martial arts. It's okay. on different ones. The ones we fought on Derby Show. Uh, what was in Doncaster? Okay. On that note, keep training, looking well, brother. I'll catch you soon. It's your boy Lion AR. Once again, keep checking and following the vlogs. Peace. The host that you've been looking forward to for a whole week. I am back, live on air. I've got a special guest in the studio. I've got the co-host with me, the lyricist. Assalamu alaikum, lyricist. Wa alaikum salam to the listeners, to the brothers in the studio, to everybody. Wow. You, this guy's getting better every week. It's only been this third, Learn from four, the best. third or fourth week. Uh, thank you for the compliment. But yeah, subhanAllah, I want to give a big shout out to the brothers who's not in the studio today. The interrupter. Inshallah, you're being missed. Can't wait to get you back. Uh, make dua for the brothers. He's in Maka, uh, um, he's in Medina Sharif, I think. So, subhanAllah, may Allah reward him and his whole family while they're there and accept all his intention and prayers. 
Um, we're in the hot seat once again today. We're, we're here for till about half past eight. I've got a special guest in the studio. I am going to introduce him in a little a little minute. His name is Safraz Yusuf, aka MMA MMA superstar in this neck of the woods. You don't really get people who actually compete in the UFC kind of fighting style. He's actually done days had free fights. Uh, he's gonna. I'm gonna introduce him in a little while. Um, he's in the studio, so keep tuned in and keep listening. It's your brother Ali Rashid in the hot seat once again, uh, and. We're going to talk about my vlogs uh, and what's going on with that at the moment. Uh, so let me bring in the lyricist. The lyricist, any questions from the last show? Hey, MMA, a.k.a. the good-looking man. And that's what I was just going to say. This brother is so handsome, you would not imagine this guy's an MMA fighter. Yeah, exactly. He's more like a, he's more like a date man. Pretty, pretty boy. Pretty boy. <laughs> that's it, pretty boy. That's fight. right. But inshallah, he's a, he's a six foot three, he's six foot three tall. He's about 13 and a half stone, he's light skin, you know, martial is a good brother, you know. He's, well, are you he's, single, yeah? No, I'm married. No, I'm married at all. Oh, you're, 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 what are you talking like that? <laughs> no. Come on, bro. No, no, he's, uh, I was going to just... Uh, no, no, you don't do that next time. You know, proposition on, <laughs> online. Anyway, Spala, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, my brother Safraz. Right, this is brother Safraz, he's, uh, he's, Safraz, tell us, introduce yourself on yourself. Tell us a bit about yourself, you know, what 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 do you do? What where did this passion for mixed martial arts come from? Go from the basics. Then firstly it started off when I was a kid, watching all Van Damme films and all that. Uh, I got into Kung Fu first with uh, Mushi. I did that for about two years. Was that in Derby? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think it was at the Meiji Centre. Okay. Old school, by Musa. Yeah. You know about Musa. Yes, carry on. Well mainly from that I got was just the stretching. So I got really flexible on that, so that really helped with kicks and stuff. Then after that, about when I was about 16, I got into boxing. That was at the Merlin's gym. I so are you, are you from Derby, brother? Yeah? yeah, I'm from Derby. Yeah, yeah and I was uh, training there for about three years, on and off. And then that wasn't enough for me, just punching and stuff. It didn't do it for me. I needed to do a bit more. And I was watching all the UFCs and all that. Got, that got me interested in more. So I was looking up for some gyms. And I found one, it's called Gracie Barra Derby. Joined that, and I've been training that for about six years, competing in Jiu Jitsu and MMA fights. Where, where's, where's this gym? It, it's now it's moved, I think it's, uh, do you know where Asda is in Swandon? Yeah. It's right next to there. Okay, great. Where was you going? Where was it then when you used to train there? When Sorry? you started? When you started? When I was... first started, it was at Dali Abbey. Dali Abbey, okay. Uh, the Mills. Okay, yeah, yeah, Mills. Mills. yeah. Yeah. So come on then, what, what, you're doing mixed martial arts, a lot of people, the, they're getting into it now. It's become a new phenomenon, especially with UFC and, you know, all these big players. And I can remember now I used to watch UFC. My favourite fighter still now is Vitor Belfort. And he's yeah, one of the like old school. Well. He's one of the old schools who's in, the, like, come with some of the earlier UFCs and he's still going strong now. Yeah. In the last four weeks, you have to make sure you're in shape. You can go the distance. So now it would be, like, loads of cardio, loads of conditioning. Let's say bachelor ropes, uh, jumping, push-ups. Basically, rural exercise that really make you feel sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's yeah. how the fight's going to be. Did you ever feel sick? Yeah, a lot of time. Yeah, yeah. What do you do? Just go on, do your thing and come back and just start again? Yeah, yeah. Good man, good man. That's that's that's, that's a, the spirit. That yeah. is a spirit, to be fair, because if you can get over them, them little hurdles when you're at your lowest and come back and just get back on it, realistically, the fight becomes easy in the ring. Is that right? Exactly. exactly. Right. So, okay, you do them drills. What other drills do you do? Uh, let's say you get a medicine ball. Sometimes you chuck it at the wall. So you get explosive. Your hands get explosive. Yes, yes. Sometimes you get the medicine ball, chuck it in the air and make sure you jump in as well. So you jump it up and down. But well, I do a lot of exercise similar to like what Conor McGregor did. Okay. Lot, a lot of movement sort of exercise. Oh, yes. Now we're so, talking. You're so, talking. That's so that was the type of exercise I used to do. It's Conor McGregor. What do you, what do you think of him? I, I like him as a fighter. But as a, as a person, his explosiveness. Yeah. BJ Penn, because he'd fight anybody. Yeah. And right now, probably Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor. Actually, another one is probably Fido. Fido and yeah, Malenko. Malenko. The baddest man on the planet. And actually GSP as well. Come on, man. That's, the fight. <laughs> that's exactly my... You know, that's you, three three of them people in that list of my people. You said that man. last week. Really? It was GSP. I said GSP, yeah. didn't I? I said Vito Belfort. I said BJ Penn. That's right. Law of attraction. Law of attraction. In the studio. <laughs> right, okay. Right. So, my question for you is, before you go in there, say you're going to fight. It's fight day today. Yeah. You're going in. you switched on. Tell me from the morning of the fight, when you get up, you pray for Joe, what do you do? Well, obviously, after you wake up, you're, you're slightly nervous. The nerves are getting to you. 
Yeah. If if you made if it's like same day weigh in, then you still got to get get the weigh in done. If your weigh in's already done the day before, you feel like you just you start eating a bit more, getting a lot of water down you because all the water that you've not drank, you need to, you need to get that back in. A uh, bit of sea salt down you, a bit of honey. You know, all the stuff that you can Sea energy. salt? Yeah. yeah so you don't salt. clamp up sodium, yeah? No, yeah. I just, I just put sea salt in. I don't do like normal table salt or anything like that. And what? What are you on about? Anything you need. You put yeah. sea salt in. Put it. sea salt in because you lose a lot of that when you're sweating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, so you've right. so you got to put that back in. Mm. And then obviously, you just got to keep focus on what your game plan is. Don't focus on like how many people can be in the crowd and stuff. Because obviously, then you're going to be focusing on them. So you just got to be focused on your game plan, what you're going to do. You probably drill over the certain moves you're going to do again. I like to stretch out a bit, and that's it. Off you, you, you set off to where you're gonna go. And fight, and it's a good trait to have. Where do you think you develop this? Is this from being lying on the floor and there's some twenty stone guy for four hours a day? I, I think it was when we used to spar with everybody. You, you couldn't like choose who you sparred against, so they used to put me in against heavyweights as well. Okay. Sometimes you put me in a ring with two and three against me. Okay. So it was, was it all in a cage and, and that abuse. I think it was. <laughs> so, we so, we, so we go back with them at three at a time and I'll say, yeah, I've got my team now. Right, so sparring, I've seen you spar and I've seen you fight some of the strongest guys in our gym uh, and people who come from other places and you hold your own so well. Uh, that's in boxing and, you know, I've seen you take body shots and where other people take them and go down or probably get winded or even take face shots from heavy punches and you kind of stay in there. Uh, it's a good trait to have. And I kind of see it in your eyes sometimes, and you won't see it, but I see it because I'm on the ropes, so I'm looking at you. And I just think, you've got the eye of the tiger. You know what they say, the eye of the tiger? Yeah. Do you know what I mean by the eye of the tiger? Yeah. Like Rocky. Yeah. Eye of the tiger. And seriously, I think any fighter, if you're competing and you're on the receiving end of barrier punches, you got to have the eye of the tiger. you got to have that slow, dopey look. Like, you know you're getting hit. You know you need to move your head. You, need, you know you need to be solid. You know you need to wait for your opening. And when that opening comes, bang. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. Okay. I had the tiger. That's another nickname. Thank you for like watching him. this vlog. It's your boy Lion AR. As you know, always bring something different to the screen. That was really a class. With my boy Safra, as you said, MMA star. Always big up every time. I want to give a big shout out to my young brother. Well, my little young G, Manny. Underscore B43. Follow him on Instagram. That's underscore Manny, underscore B43. He's a good you. Hold it down. Anyway, catch you in the next vlog. Like they are, your boy. Peace.